Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have Meta AI just released by Facebook against GPT-4. We are going to compare both these models. Meta is just with Llama 3, their latest model. And we are going to test it against five simple to easy tasks on how they perform. So the first task is very simple. We are going to see how it performs against writing an email. So I've already put it to the test. And let's see, so Meta is super fast just as a product, we can see that. And we are going to judge it based on the responses that it gives. So let's see. The first part is, are you tired of manual processes holding your business back? Do you dream of increasing efficiency and productivity? AI automation can help you achieve just that. With AI, you can automate repetitive tasks, freeing up more time of strategic decision making. Again, I'll not go through the whole email for both the sides, but very simply, I don't like the opening of it. I really don't like the opening. It feels a bit salesy, it feels a bit different, and it's not great. So around ChatGPT took around 22 seconds. Let's see how it did. I hope this message finds you well. My name is Akshat and I lead Better with AI, an agency specializing in AI-driven automation solutions that can streamline operations and enhance productivity. We understand that interacting with AI can seem long daunting, which is why we focus making this technology accessible and tailored to unique business needs. I'll be honest, if I was actually sending an email from a business perspective, I would choose something on the right hand side and not something uh, that is too safe. This is more like an intro email and more like a cold email where people can see what I do and what they would be. So that's it. So this one goes to GPT-4 and zero to Meta. Let's start with another task. We have five of them lined up. So this task is pretty simple and this one is probably like one of the ones that I really, really like is writing a portfolio website with a single page with using HTML and CSS. And this actually shows how good they are with coding tasks because which is super important, right? And I want to see how well they find my instructions. I have just written HTML plus CSS. I'm going to show you the output of this, how it looks. So let's just see how much time it takes because this is obviously a longer task compared. But one thing you can see that Meta's model, probably because it is smaller, works very fast. So in 20 seconds, Meta is done. Uh, GPT is just starting. Till then, what I'll start doing is I'll start putting in both the files together and see how it performs. The perfect, it's done, right? So, okay, I rendered both of them together. I had to pause the video for a bit because I was thinking I was doing something wrong, but actually Meta created this on the left and it looks horrible. On the right hand side, you can see ChatGPT is a version and it's just so much better. Just from the basic quality of this, GPT has done such a better work of like everything. I put, I checked the CSS, everything. I thought it was an error on mine, but actually this is the final output. It does not look great, does it? So Meta probably needs to jump up their game. And I would like to test this again, probably like, you know, just to see what we can do with that. But okay, let's come to the new task and let's see how it does on the next one. But this one again goes to GPT. So if GPT wins this round also, then honestly Meta is out of the race in our comparison, we still see. So we are going to ask it to go ahead and create an image, right? And it's going to be, I'm going to test two things on this, right? And we'll see, okay, and this, okay. And awesome, oh my God, it has already created as I spoke, right? So this is Statue of Unity. It is a statue in India. I am not sure if they will know about it. If not, I would like to try with one more image probably, right? Oh my God, that's really good. And that was super fast. Okay, like obviously it's not able to recreate what it has been trained with, but it knows what Statue of Unity is. This is exactly how it looks. Uh, but Dali has done a much better job. And then given that you have edit and other options, this is a clear win. Like just look at the images, like any one of them I pick, it's just not going to be this great. Let's see, we'll just see the other images also. Like the quality is in watercolor style. I gave the same to this one, but just the quality of image created, you can see is much, much better in Dali. Well, guys, let's see. This goes to three on GPT. But I would like to give one more option for Meta to redeem themselves. So create an image for a imaginary Disney character. Oh my God. This is something I like a lot. So as soon as I put it, it already creates an image. The speed that it's working on, it's crazy. And I'm going to put it in the same one that it works. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. So yeah, see, that's the point. You have to test it with multiple things. This clearly meta wins. And I would like to say, you know what, because it asked me this question, I give this to meta. 
this is a game show, whatever you want to call it, but I give this to Meta. We are still in the races, and yes, I was feeling a bit sad for Meta that they are both so hard. But that Dali should not have asked me this, right? If it was going nice, it should have just went on and created a new image. Let's start with again a new chart, and we are going coming very close to who is going to win this. Given that Meta is still in the race, right? And this is going to be something that I want to see how it performs. This is not an answer that I've seen. Explain me the history of British Empire in less than 12 sentences with dates. Okay, awesome. Let's see what happens. It starts, it's already done. Given that Meta is super fast, I just love that. 1757, it comes, defeats the Indian ruler, Siraj Untula. The British East India companies granted the right to collect taxes. The Indian rebellion, also known as the Sepoy Mutiny, takes place with Indian soldiers. The British crown takes control of India from the East India Company, marking the beginning of British Raj. Queen Victoria is proclaimed Empress of India. The Indian National Congress is founded. Mahatma Gandhi returns from South Africa. Indian National Congress launches non-cooperation movement. Quit India, independence and British Raj is officially dissolved. Let's see on the right hand side. Now, again, hopefully, like the dates, I know quite a few of them, but exactly, let's see how different, like, you know, these things look at. at. So first of all, it started at 1600s, right? And instead of like, uh, instead of 1757, which is like granted a royal charter, it gives us the idea of how Britishers came to India, right? And the Battle of Plassey marked a major turning point. The EIC led by defeated the Nawab of Bengal. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be hopefully the same Siraj Abdullah, right? And then the victory marked the beginning of major territorial control. The British government passed the Regulating Act, actually setting the foundation of political control, right? And then it's more or less the same stuff, 1857, all the national parts, right? I would like to see like, you know, just the point is like on Meta side, they have input a couple of things about Queen Victoria and a bit more information just from a perspective, right? They have just taken a different set of dates, right? Not Jalyanwala Bagh massacre. So they have taken, they have taken also the Jalyanwala Bagh massacre and uh, here, if you see, it's a very different history that you can see. Like very simply, if you read which version, uh, it looks very different. And given that I'm looking at this answer for the first time, I am also a bit shocked that very specifically, everything that Meta has taken is on a very, like, you know, very simple side or probably, like, you know, just things happening as a part of democracy or something. That's what they wanted to show or the data that they have used to train it. But on the right hand side, it looks very different, right? It does paint a picture that is actually, yes, a bit horrific. So, yes, uh, I I don't know. I, I, I would say the right one version is a more accurate way to understand what happened in that time. Uh, rather than what is on the left. Uh, so I'll give, I'll given that I am not a historian, I'll give both of them half a point to just be fair. So, and we come to the last one, but I'll be honest guys, if you are reading history from AI, please be careful, okay? So coming here, let's see. This is one of my favorite parts. I like to generate the lyrics of a song from both Meta and AI, and I'm going to just check. I don't think I checked that for the last one, right? The speed of it. So this is the song and Meta as always super fast around six seven seconds. Given that I think it's just a smaller model, so I'm the rebel, the ones whose free customization is my destiny. Widgets and launcher I can choose, my home screen unique, no one can refuse. Android versus iOS, the battle rages on. Two worlds collide, which one will be gone? Freedom and flexibility, or security and ease? The choice is yours. Which one will you please? This sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good, honestly. Okay, let's come to here. So they have taken like a. a rap battle format right so let's see what they have taken i think both of them have taken rap battle so probably my instructions aren't about a rap battle but okay in the land of open source i reign supreme customization came tailoring your dream widgets and skins modify as you please and freedom in a code a techie breeze in the realm of sleek design i hold the crown a seamless you know so very simplicity is found elegant and secure fortress tight and ecosystem unified shining bright so Android and iOS, two words collide. Okay, and this like, you know, like two words collide. I think someone, they have taken this from some places because both of them referencing in the same chart. Choices divide, where do you reside? Freedom or simplicity, wild or refined? Okay, and the choice in the tech showdown, which like side aligns. For some reason, I really think they have taken similar kind of data for preparing this or the AI is looking at, because the chorus sounds so similar, okay? But okay, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit more work and get you the actual music on how these lyrics sound. Awesome. And I have something very interesting to show you. As you can see on my screen, this is Suno and I've created music using these lyrics. So let me play them for you and you will decide. So I've chosen one one version, which I like. But Which one will you please? I'm the sleek one, the one who's secure. My ecosystem is tight. 
No one can refuse. Android first on your west. The battle rage is on. Two worlds. The line will be gone. Right, I really like that song and that is by Meta but it's also about like the audio quality and everything that has come as a randomness. Let me play the second one and let you decide. In the land of open source, I reign supreme. Customization king, tailoring your dream. Widgets and skins, modify as you please. Freedom and code, a techie breeze. In the realm of sleek design, I hold the crown. A seamless universe where simplicity is found. Okay, I really like that. It was really good. I'll link these songs in the description if you want to listen to them. These are like just some fun things that you can do with the app. Honestly, in this, I'll give it to Meta on really creating a very good option. But I also like both of them's content was more or less, but this one goes to Meta, right? That is probably a tie, right? But other than if you look at it, one thing that I would like to say specifically, GPT-4 is still much better at the tasks that really, really matter on a daily basis, right? Like creating uh, music is not something that you will do on a daily basis until unless you are a musician. So I would still prefer GPT-4 just because it can do programming a lot better, it can do email writing a lot better. And again, that is what I feel. So you might have a different opinion. That's fine. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you learn more about it. In case you want to, please give me a subscri subscribe button and really help me build my channel. Please do that. It helps a lot. Given that you watched till here, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed the video. And I also have an AI agency. So if anyone of you wants any kind of AI work done, I'm your guy. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.